our channel Arjuna Mobile, a channel of YouTube on which we discuss about each and every parts of Nano Mobile. So in order to that, today we are going to discuss about the emission standards, the pollution which takes place because of the vehicles. So guys, in order to reduce that pollution, government makes some norms that are called emission standard. So today we are going to discuss about that emission standards. So guys, as we all know about air pollution, which is continuously increasing, and one of the major source of air pollution is our vehicles. Guys, around 50% of air pollution is just because of our vehicles. We have 2% ships, boats, and 43% car, 19 19% lightweight duty trucks. 22% medium and heavy duty trucks, 8% aircraft and 6% others. So guys, mostly pollution is because of vehicles. And in the exhaust stroke of vehicle, many hazardous gases like hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxides are comes out and mix with the atmosphere. Basically, these gases cause headache, and problem related with brain, lungs, heart, etc. So in order to save life and our environment, government made some norms or emission standard for vehicles like BS2, BS3, BS4, BS6. Guys, please have a look on this data. Our emission standards are taken from the Europe. On the Europe, Euro 1, Euro 2, Euro 3, Euro 4 and Euro 6 are emission standards and guys this data shows the continuously decrement in hazardous gases in environment which comes out from the vehicle. So guys according to these norms many changes takes place on our vehicle and guys today we are going to discuss about the some basic devices used in order to reduce the hazardous gases like for the BS2, catalytic converter was compulsory for all the vehicles which converts the hazardous gases into the less hazardous gases and along with turbocharger is also used for perfect combustion. So if complete combustion takes place inside an engine cylinder so less hazardous gas can be released in the atmosphere. And then for the BS3, guys in the BS3 more advanced version of these devices were introduced like turbocharger with a waste gate which again reduces the hazardous gases and then BS4 and now guys in the BS4 along with these devices a EZR system was introduced EZR stands for exhaust gas recirculation system and because of the EZR system Production of NOx is continuously decreasing. So guys, these are some basic devices. Yeah, there are many more, but in order to reduce hazardous gases, these are some basic equipments. So thanks for watching guys our today's video. If you like this video, so please give us a big fat thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe our channel and feel free to press the bell icon. Thank you.